So I've just finished um, my day shift in the NHS and now we're going to prepare for tonight's session, um, which is an antenatal session covering cesarean birth and nappy changing and baby care. So my job involves lots of preparation for my sessions in the evening and what I'm going to do now is prepare these babies for the parents to be able to change the nappy and have a go at what it might be like to use either baby wipes, cotton wool or reusable wipes. So let's do that now. So I'm going to use Marmite and that's going to represent the meconium, the first poo that babies do after they're born. By doing this, it just gives parents a bit more of a real life try at wiping a baby's bottom. Although we know it's a doll, it just helps to envision what things and what choices they might, to, might like to make when they're thinking about what they're going to use to change their own baby. So every parent will have the go to um, change an nappy in tonight's session. And we'll also look at popping the baby, at cord care, um, at popping and tailing, and potentially at swaddling as well. So I don't go too mad with filling these nappies um, as it can get absolutely everywhere. Although we know that a real baby's nappy, that does happen, it gets everywhere. Oh, and this is a nappy from the last class where someone's actually put the nappy on back to front. So we'll just turn that round. Although if someone told you you were going to do this, you'd probably laugh, but actually the parents really do enjoy getting a bit more hands-on with the babies and practical baby care. And that is partly what antenatal classes are about. Um, practical baby care, they want kind of hands-on things as close as we can get to a real baby, which would be unrealistic. Okay, so we're nearly done for prepping these babies. And then we'll just pop them in the bag ready to go. Just going to get tea out now and then I'm going to make sure the kids are fed and myself and husband have something to eat and then I'll go get changed and then it will be off out to the venue. Um, I do try and have some tea before I go because I'll leave about six and I won't return home till about ten o'clock ish and then do try and go straight to bed. Um, so I'll do that now and then I'm going to get changed and then it'll be time to go. Okay okay so I've just got changed and we're now going to go um, to the venue where I'm teaching tonight, which is a venue that I use locked. So this is the venue that we use. Here's the bits that we can make the drinks, and this is the room that we use. So it's such a good space, and I've been using this room now for a long, long time, and it does the job. I set the chairs out, and I'm now going to set up the room, so let's see what we've got. So normally I do a set session plan um, which follows on in the amount of weeks that each course has and that can vary sometimes but the majority of the time it's quite standardised and we just make sure that we work through things in a methodical way. 
which helps parents then to understand in what way things might happen and what way things you might come across and at what point in the labour process these things happen. So tonight we're looking at cesarean birth and baby care and the group will start with cesarean birth and we're now going to set up the cesarean birth table um, in visuals and in written because everyone learns differently. So this one's going to be the visual table and on here this is just a visual timeline of what things mums, parents, partners, birthing people might come across during a cesarean birth whether that's planned or unplanned. Um, so this just gives them a good way of visually looking at what things they might need to do, might need to think about or things that they might actually come across. So on this table we've got things such as a theatre setting and what that looks like, an epidural being set up, the fact that a catheter will be needed. These are things that sometimes people don't think about and it's just good to desensitise before the big day. So we're going to pop these out now. Just a little bit of information on birth partners in theatre and some babies being born in a theatre setting and also some skin to skin in theatre as well. So some people learn really visually, other people like to look at numbers and writing. So we do like to try and include a bit of everything in each session so that parents can take away from it what, what they find most useful. And this is hoping to prepare them for cesarean birth. So that's the table for visual set up. So on this table, we've got some things about recovery and the scarring after a cesarean birth and things might be needing to consider um, during the recovery phase. And then a little bit on all types of birth as well. So how to recover from every type of birth, what needs to be considered. And then this group, when they reach here, can have a little think about mum's recovery post-birth. As there's lots of things you can change in a cesarean birth, this table has got some ideas for that and the groups when they reach here will think about um, what babies need after birth, what dads or birth partners need after birth and then um, just have a think about where they can make the changes if they need to. This last table is normally the one that every group loves and there is just a, a Playmobil theatre set up and when the group reach here, they're going to think about a dad or a birth partner's role in a theatre setting and how it might differ and changes that you can make to that theatre setting as well. And now I'm going to prepare the things for afterwards under the tables that are already set out so that when they have the break, I can swap them over. So now you can see that I've set the bits up for afterwards. So when the, the group's on the break, I will bring these bits out and put these things away and each group will have, each person in the group will have a baby, a mat and some changing things. In each session we're trying to make it as inclusive for everybody as possible. So when we do nappy changing we do look at a wide variety of things such as disposable, reusable and biodegradable. So I'll put everything out and then the group can have a look and then they've got that choice for themselves what they want to try with their dog. So we've got lots of reusables. And then I'll show them the cheeky wipes set with the reusable wipes. Some disposable nappies, inserts with the reusables. And lots more of them. There's also some instructions for changing a nappy. And some information about the, the reusables. And they'll all have their own baby and the option of cotton wool and water as well and now we're all done we've just got to wait for our mums and dads so i'm all finished now i'm going to make my way back home and pop everything in the office and i'll sort the rest of the things out tomorrow um i hope you enjoyed coming along to that session with me as much as i can show you um but it was really nice tonight just to see parents starting to make their own choices their own decisions and starting to really weigh up 
what their options are for birth and what their preferences would be um, and that's really the most important thing about antenatal sessions um, we're gaining confidence for parents and letting them start to explore different things that are available so that they can make the choice